Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series in the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 30.1, and today I want to talk about uh, just um, the relationship between uh, pitch and playback speed. So today you can get all the warping that you want. You can take a sound and adjust the BPM and not have it in a lot of software, and even some of the hardware, not have it change the pitch. Uh, old hardware if you're not familiar, would uh, take and just adjust the pitch. And if you pitched up, it would play the sound faster. And if it, you pitched it down, it would play it slower. And the reason why this is important is a lot of people were sampling off of records uh, back in the 80s, even the 90s. And as you'd sample off of the record, one thing that you could adjust was the speed that the record would play at. And the faster it plays, the less time that you need to sample. So it would actually... Uh, even though you'd lose some fidelity in the sound, this would give you the ability to have conserve your sample time. Because a lot of systems, you might only have 5, 10, 15, 20 seconds worth of sample time. So that memory was very precious, and trying to maintain it was really important. So um, I just got a drum loop here just to show you. And this is just a four, four to the floor drum loop. And we're clipping a little bit. Let me adjust that. So I'll just kind of knock that down a bit, but um, I could just record this in and as usual and just play it and that'd be fine. But what uh, samplers or samplers would do is play it faster. And when you do that and then you pitch it back down on the device, it's going to change the some of the tone of the sound. So um, as an example, I'm just playing this off of my MPC Live. I'm going to go into... Um, 16 levels on the MPC. So this is just playing at normal speed. And that's what it sounds like playing it an octave up or, you know, twice as fast. So if I come in and I actually play it twice as fast and record, actually, you know what? I'm going to record it in normal first just so we can A-B it. But I got it in wait mode. So let's just record this four on the floor. And hit record. Sounds about the same. So now I'm going to record, and with 16 levels on the MPC, I'm just going to play it twice as fast. So sounds about the should sound rel roughly the same. Now what you'd do because we've now saved the that time, you'd come in and do the pitch speed, and we now do need to play it an octave lower. And you, uh, if you can hear, I mean, these should be sounding roughly the same because just this one's pitched up an octave and then back down. And it's just, I don't know about you, uh, you, anybody else listening out there, but it sounds a little bit fuller. And I think a lot of that's because it's losing that high end content, some of the high end content. And I mean, all we've done is just we pitched it up and pitched it back down. And just to show you, like, we could even take this. We can pitch it up. We can only go up 50%, so it's going to sound a little bit different. But I mean, it's effectively pitching it up uh, seven semitones. But if I take this and we go resample it, we can uh, resample the pad three. And now, if we come back here, if we just knock this back down to 100%, and then for this one, if we come back, we'll have to bring it down seven. I, mean, I don't know. Hopefully you guys can hear the difference. Maybe I should try and make sure I turn this up a little bit. Sorry, just trying to make sure. Make sure I find the right one. So this is just the resample. This is the played pitched up an octave and then pitched down.
Now, uh, and I would say again, like you can get similar effects by just doing some low, a little bit of low pass filtering and stuff and get a little bit similar, but you definitely do get a bit of a different sound. So I would just say, guys, um, you know, definitely think about uh, taking some of your sound if you're interested, pitching it up any amount and then pitching it back down and kind of just see how it sounds to you. See if you like it a little bit more because it can, as I said, change that tonality and give you a different sound. Anyway, um, I'll uh, call it quits for today, but thanks everybody for stopping by. Keep making music. Keep checking these videos out. Hope you're learning some stuff and have fun. Peace.